Meanwhile, House lawmakers getting ready. They'll introduce two bipartisan bills aimed at China today. One of them would allow victims' families to sue Beijing over the COVID outbreak. Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich, former House Speaker of the House. How you doing, sir? And good morning to you. Very curious to get your analysis of how you see this playing out. But let's begin there, and then I'll pick up on a few things after that. Where is it going? Sure. Well, look, we're in a period where you have common sense and you have technicalities. Common sense is this was a manufactured virus. Uh, it almost certainly came out of Wuhan. The burden ought to be on China. The Chinese have lied to the World Health Organization. They've lied to the planet. They've now closed down uh, the opportunity to have any kind of serious investigation. Uh, this was originally called a China, the Wuhan virus or the Chinese virus. That's what it is. Uh, and I think that it's a sad story that for over a year, the Western world was, was basically lied to by China and accepted it. And people who said, hey, this is a laboratory, they were ridiculed. And I think now you're beginning to find out that the weight of evidence is overwhelming, because, in part because technically a disease which comes from an animal into a human evolves at a much slower rate. This, this was a very rapid, I think deliberately engineered disease, probably escaped uh, by, because of clum, clum, clumsiness or sloppiness, uh, probably not a deliberate effort. But nonetheless, China is responsible for the death of millions, for economic crisis across the planet, for disrupting the entire world system, and the Chinese ought to be held accountable. Okay, so that, um, I don't disagree with anything you said. I don't know if you're ever going to get an honest answer out of the Chinese Communist government, no matter what yeah. evidence you can prove there. So well, you now, you, now you've got this 90 day period. I don't know what you do during that. Maybe you collect more evidence and you put into a big report that makes it obvious for the world to see. And perhaps you go get your allies, yeah. Japan, South Korea, Australia, your NATO allies, and you put up a united international front to force Beijing to admit it. But even then, the Chinese Communist Party will not make a public okay, I, admission I of this. So what is the level of pressure of course, at that point on President Xi? Go ahead. Well, what we ought to do, I think, is establish a 30 or 40 percent extra tariff on all Chinese goods, put that money into a fund to pay off the families, allow the families to, to sue just like you would for any kind of industrial problem. And we've all seen the commercials. If you ever had X call the law firm, well, we ought to say we are going to charge the Chinese an extra tariff for being bad actors, and we're going to keep that tariff on until we raise enough money to pay off every American family. The rest of the world should take a note of that, and they should do the same thing. Now Xi would be faced with a real problem because his export machine, which keeps his economy rolling, would be breaking. And he would have a real domestic problem, not just a bunch of words. Now, uh, last point here. David Asher yesterday afternoon with John Roberts. Very intriguing stuff here on the intel community. Give that a listen. I have a lot of confidence in the intelligence community at this stage. I think they'll find a lot. Whether they'll say much is a different matter. We made a big effort under Secretary Pompeo's leadership to declassify critical information. I uh, certainly hope, and I know the Congress endorses this uh, bipartisanly, that this administration will do the same. All we right, need well, to find out the truth for the sake of our future and humanity. I, I don't know if you saw the interview. It's very interesting. Where do you see that going, sir? Quickly. Well, uh, I, this administration wants to somehow find a way to be uh, Xi Jinping's friend, not be his enemy. And I, I doubt very much if President Biden is going to allow the American people to know what the American intelligence community already knows. I'd, I'd be very surprised. Wow. Um, I hope that's not the case. Sir, thank you for your time. We'll see you next week, hopefully. Newt thank Gingrich. You. Thanks, Dana. Hope so.